Good day, everyone. Today, I am again here with my friend Christina. Yes, Niemann uh, Hall. To whom, uh, who doesn't know her, uh, she's from Croatia. She is my longtime friend. Uh, we both live in Brazil uh, for quite a long time. She lives longer than me. And she is specialized in Mandarin, Chinese language. And today, uh, our interview, our lesson will be about survival Mandarin. Mm, 对啊. <laughs> cool. Now, uh, as Krishina before lived in China for quite a long time, um, in Beijing and also in Shanghai, uh, I would ask her to share her experiences and actually share uh, the most used phrases you would probably need uh, being uh, traveling to China or uh, being especially like Shanghai or to Beijing and you probably use them anyway and it would be easier for you to memorize them and use them. So uh, what I would like to ask you actually about survival phrases, mm -hmm. uh, what phrases would you like to recommend? I think maybe mm -hmm. first would be like, hi, how are you? Something like this. What do you think about it? I think we should start with a type of Chinese that helps people who actually never took a Chinese course. So to learn things like, I don't speak Chinese or do you speak English or um, I don't understand or yeah, I don't understand. It's actually a good one to start, right? Okay, so how can I say in Chinese, I don't understand you? Mm -hmm. So, you never took any language course, Chinese language course. So, of course, you won't understand what people are saying if they speak Chinese. So, you're going to say, 我听不懂. I hear and I don't get it. Okay, so I don't understand. 我听不懂. 我听不懂. So, that's the first most crucial phrase. Now, regarding English, how can I ask a Chinese person if she or he speaks English? Like this phrase, do you speak English? How can I say this in Chinese? Okay, let's go very slow. It's gonna be 你会不会说英语你,you,会不会, can, 说, speak, 英语, English. Okay, 你会不会说英语? Interesting. So, it's not that hard as it seems in Chinese. Generally, it's not hard, basic Chinese. Well, uh, what other phrases would you like to recommend? Mm, maybe to complete these, I would say, 我不会说汉语. 我不会看会. 说汉语, Chinese, 汉语, 我不会说汉语. Yeah, so it means I cannot speak Chinese. Exactly. I don't speak Chinese. Mm -hmm. 我不会说汉语. Well, that's the most crucial part. And if you can say this already, uh, after this video, I think by hook or by crook, you will get around in China. Uh, and someone will appear there to speak to you English or maybe any other language you speak if you're from any other part of the world. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now maybe we should have some sentences for people who learned a bit of Chinese but they're not really sure how to say something or maybe they're shy to use their Chinese. So what do you think would be in that category? Well. I don't know, actually, for me, I'm right about now a little bit confused and just trying to imagine what, if I'm shy, what, depending on situation, what kind of situation you may offer? Um, well, uh, survival Chinese is a lot about orientation, so asking questions like, for example, how to get to a place. We could do that, right? uh, Sure, sure, like, yeah, like, like it was in our uh, video with Agata. Polish, yeah. Croatian, Polish, Croatian, and uh, Ukrainian. yeah, Ukrainian. So, uh, how can I ask? Like, how can I get there, or how can I get, for example, to to the city center? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, city center. Let me think how to put that. Zhongxin. Yeah, but usually you have so many big cities, it's actually difficult to define what exactly is the city center. But let's imagine you have a specific place. So the place comes in first. For example, a hotel like. Lü Guan. Yeah, Lü Guan. Like, I don't know, famous hotel Hilton Lü Guan. <laughs> but for ex for example, if I'm get lost, I've got lost in China, and I, for example, I have my hotel, and I say like Hilton Hilton mm -hmm. Hotel, and like the the hotel in Chinese is Lü Guan. Mm -hmm, exactly. So blah 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 Lü Guan. Zai Nali. So where is hotel blah blah blah? Okay, you start with a place. So you can put anything else in the place of the hotel. So it could be a restaurant. Blah blah blah. Fan Dian Zai Nali. Where is the blah 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 restaurant? Okay. Uh, so as uh, as you may see here, like instead of blah blah blah, you put the name. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, name could be different, so uh, generally is pick up this phrase Difang, what Lu Guan, hotel, what uh, what else, uh, restaurant. Fan Dian. Fan Dian, Fan Dian. Fan Dian, restaurant, Ah, Wan Shonai Chi. Okay, uh, so, and uh, the phrase Zai Na Li, uh, where is? Mm -hmm. So phrase li like the the structure of the fra phrases you have seen a little bit different, and then in English, uh, what kind of what kind of other other uh, phrases we may use? So imagine you're at the restaurant, and you ordered something by the picture, but you're not really sure what that is. But you understand a little bit of Chinese. So how do you ask? What's that? So, okay, don't make an ugly face, you want to be nice, right? So you're gonna smile. <laughs> 对不起, 对不起, excuse me. 请问, may I ask? 这是什么东西? 这是什么东西? 这, this, 是, is, 什么, what? 东西, thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, this phrase Ching Wen, uh, like may I ask you, is really polite way to talk to a Chinese person and usually uh, used all the way around, um, as from my experience, both in uh, commercial emails, wherever, when you need a clarification. So, may I ask you a question like Ching Wen? Ching Wen? Uh, what else? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, what is that, or what kind of thing is this? If to translate li literally, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, what other phrases may you recommend? All right. So you're there, and you have a really hard time because you're just speaking a little bit of Chinese, and you want to meet new people, right? So you go out, maybe to a place where there are younger people, and you might like to introduce yourself and ask the other person for their name, right? That's actually very easy. So to introduce yourself, you're going to use 我是 and then say your name. I am 我是 Christina. Okay, my Chinese name is actually Lina. 我是 Lina. Okay, as for me, I have two Chinese names. First is generally what my Chinese friends call me. My, yes, uh, my Chinese name is Big C Ta Hai. And uh, at my work at a Chinese company, all my colleagues call me Loma. Loma. Okay, use that and make the sentence we've just learned. Uh, okay, 我是罗马. Okay. 我是大海. Mm -hmm. So, but let's imagine he and me, we meet at some party. So, and I don't know him, so I want to know his name. So, I'm going to ask him, 你叫什么名字? Ni you Jiao are called Shema what Ming the name Wa Jiao Loma Good so he used another word he repeated actually the word in my question which is a very good technique Wa Jiao I am called instead of Wa Shi So you have two options okay Yang Shi Okay so um 
two options is actually I am someone 我是 我叫 I'm named in German like I have German subscribers too uh, Germans have it like ich heiße um, my name is mm -hmm. or I'm called by, mm -hmm. by some name mm -hmm. good okay but I remember you also wanted to teach me something right but that's one more video. Oh, all right. Okay, sorry, guys. No, no I already spoiled it. But no, no, we're not going to tell you right now what we're going to do next. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, what other phrases may you recommend, by the way? Um, what kind of situation do you imagine where people might have difficulties? Well, uh, maybe, maybe... Uh, Asking for help or not? That's a good one. Excellent. Exactly. So, you have different kinds of situations in which you need help. Bigger help or a little bit of help. So, let's imagine you are just standing somewhere and not really sure what to do or maybe you have heavy bags, okay? So, the easiest way to ask for help is to maybe look someone else into the eyes and say, again, 对不起,请问, so sorry, may I ask, 你会不会帮我? Okay, you know that, right? 你,you,会不会,can,帮我, help me. Can you help me? 你会不会帮我? So, as you have noticed, here the key phrase, the key word is 帮, and this word means help, or to help. 帮我, help me. And 会不会, uh, can you or not, or just can you? So, 你会不会帮我? Uh, that's the most important like phrase which you would probably use anywhere, especially when you're new being Chinese or like when you're new to China, you're for the, for the first time in China. Okay, wonderful. I think we got our seven minutes or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, uh, what I would like to recommend, Chris, Christina have, has a channel uh, dedicated to Mandarin, and uh, it's called uh, Mandarin with, Without Fear. It's actually for Brazilians, and it's called Mandarin Sem Medo, so that's how you will find it. So actually, it's not an international public, especially for Brazilians. And you have some longer videos on YouTube, but on Instagram, I'm posting more frequently short videos and some images, maybe, yeah. For the Brazilian audience, yeah. <laughs> okay, so my subscribers, I, I know, like, uh, there are uh, great, there is a, some great amount of people of Brazil following me, and I would like to ask you to check out the uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube channel of Cristina. Oh, thank you. And I, I think you will, you would really find out a lot of interesting uh, content, a lot of interesting lessons on Mandarin Chinese. So if you're on, have something on your mind to go to China to learn Chinese, please have a look at the channel. I think you would really like it. And by the way, uh, what we want to mention. Uh, this video was filmed in Velho Garfo Cafe, so it's the place worth visiting in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So if you're a tourist and you're traveling in Sao Paulo by chance, come here and have amazing coffee or have amazing dinner mm -hmm. or even a supper if, if you're from Great Britain. And what else? Velho Garfo Vila Leopoldina, Sao Paulo. Yes, we will mention the the edges of this amazing place below the video. Mm -hmm. Stay okay. tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs>